Welcome to the Queen's Show to yet another exciting episode where if you know, you know, and if you don't, we have an opportunity of confirming it to you. It's been a nice time and a nice week. I hope now you are realizing that we are having our contestants less by one. We have to adhere to the directives of the Ministry of Health, which actually requires us to observe social distancing. So even on this show, we are observing social distancing and ensuring that our contestants feel safe, all of us here feel safe. And just before they came in, they can attest to you, sanitizer wa meoganai. Ukiwana watu wana shine wa upe hapa, sanitizer imecheza. All right, so we are going to have fun as we continue observing the directives from the ministry to keep ourselves safe. Now, let's get on to it. Of course, I'm your host, Buddha Boss, about to discover who our contestants are. Sir, allow me to begin with you. What is your name and what do you do? Uh, my name is Seth Amdan. I'm a, Seth who? Amdan. Seth Amdan? Amdan. Oh, Amdan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Seth, what do you do? I'm a video editor. Video editor? Really? Karibu sana, man. Karibu sana. Sir, what is your name and what do you do? My name is Mufaddal Sadiqali. I'm a shopkeeper. Mufaddal Sadiqali. Sadiqali, not Sad surgically. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not surgically. <laughs> Sadikali. Sadikali, okay. yes. Yes. What do you do, my father? I'm a shopkeeper. Shopkeeper! Mm. I like it! Welcome to the show! Thank you. So what's the name of your group or team? Shock. Shock. Shock! Alright! I hope you guys are not gonna be shocked on this show. Yeah, we'll show you. Very shocking. Let's find out if these guys are gonna <laughs> shock you or you are gonna shock them. Okay, sir, what is your name and what do you do? My name is Jeremiah. I'm a software developer. Jeremiah, software developer. Karibu sana, Jeremiah. Sir! <laughs> what is your name and what do you do? My name is Haku. Yes. And I'm a photographer and yes. a graphic designer. Haku! Haku! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. All right, what's the name of your team? The sanitizers. Sanitizers! <laughs> All right! Okay, just to remind us, just in case you guys want to uh celebrate each other because you've been able to answer something correctly just observe the particular regulations that we have if you have to do an elbow okay yeah, yeah avoid any clapping or any hugging or any kissing <laughs> <laughs> okay we are on to our first challenge which is the quick fire we are going to ask our contestants 10 questions and they have 60 seconds to respond and each correct answer will earn them 100 points. I feel like I want to sanitize. That means I want to start with you guys. All right. Oh, All right. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Remember, if you do not know the correct answer, feel free to say pass. You will give an opportunity to the other team member to be able to respond. Let us hope you guys can be able to get these ones correctly. I want to begin with you, uh, Jeremiah, then I'll move on to you. Unfortunately, this one does not have room for team effort. Kila mtu wa pambane na hali yake. Hali yake. Sanitizers, are you ready? Yes, yes. Okay. Jeremiah. Yes. 60 seconds, 10 questions, the time begins now. What is Nelson Mandela's clan name? Pass. Pass. Cosa. Eva Perón was the first lady of what country? Argentina. Correct. Well, who wrote a document known as the 95 Thesis? Pass. Pass. The Khmer Merouge was a regime that ruled in which Asian country? Vietnam. Incorrect. Who created the first successful printing press? Pass. Pass. Which US president gave the famous Gettysburg address speech? Franklin D. Roosevelt. Incorrect. Which famous nurse was popularly known as the lady with the lamp? Pass. Pass. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth is a well-known phrase from what collection of 282 laws? Pass. Pass. <laughs> Who painted the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper? Da Vinci. Da Vinci, correct! All right! Whoa! <laughs> we have started well. Uh, our first team members here, sanitizers, now are at 200 points. We ask them... What is Nelson Mandela's clan name? It is Madiba. Eva Perón was the first lady of what country? You're correct. It is Argentina who wrote a document known as the 95 Thesis. It is Martin Luther. The Khmer Rouge was a regime that ruled in Cambodia. The correct answer is Cambodia. 
who created the first successful printing press, it is Gutenberg, which U.S. President gave the famous Gettysburg Address speech, that is Abraham Lincoln, which continent was devastated by the Black Death in the 1300s, that's Europe, which was the famous nurse who popularly was known as the lady with the lamp, that is Florence Nightingale. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth is a well-known phrase from the collection of 202 laws known as the Code of Hammurabi. And who painted the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper? You are correct. It is Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci. So we have sanitizers at 200 points so far. Mokasawa! Mokasawa! You can appreciate yourself. Mokasawa! <laughs> Are you getting shocked at the results? No, we are not shocked. Yeah, you're not shocked. You expected it. No. <laughs> yeah. You're going to shock them. You're going to shock them. Okay. Move further and set. Remember, <laughs> if you don't know, pass. Pass. All right? Just do what this guy did. <laughs> <laughs> he passed everything. All right? <clears throat> Okay, moving on swiftly, 60 seconds. We have 10 questions. Your time begin now. What does UNESCO stand for? Pass. Pass. All right. What is a sweet substance made by bees? Honey. Correct. Where is the Silas Game Reserve, Africa's largest national park? South Africa. Incorrect. What is the capital of Mauritania? Pass. Pass. Which animal found in Ituri rainforest in Central Africa is also known as the forest giraffe? Pass. Pass. Who piloted the first non-stop flight across the Atlantic? Pass. Pass. The Cuban Revolution led to the rise of what dictator? Pass. Pass. What was the Nazi symbol called? Uh, pass. Pass. What's the, <laughs> <laughs> what's the meaning of Ubuntu? Uh, pass. Pass. Which famous military leader defeated Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo? Pass. Pass! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, you guys are at 100 points. Are you shocked? <laughs> Mufada, you're shocked? A little bit. A little bit. Okay, we are still... <laughs> Which famous military leader defeated Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo? The correct answer is Duke of Wellington. What's the meaning of Ubuntu in simple terms, compassion and humanity? What's the Nazi symbol called? Swastika. <laughs> I know. It was so close. The Cuban Revolution led to the rise of uh, the dictator known as Fidel Castro, who piloted the first non-stop flight across the Atlantic, Captain John Alcock. Which animal found in a two rainforest in Central Africa is also known as the forest giraffe it is the Okapi. Then what is the capital of Mauritania? Nuakchot. What is the Silas Game Reserve, Africa's largest national park? It is in Tanzania. Where rather is the Silas Game Reserve? It is in Tanzania. What is the sweet substance made by, her, uh, by bees? You're correct, it is honey. And what does UNESCO stand for? United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Wah! Haku! He got the simplest. He got the simplest. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. Honey. All right. We are at 100 points for Team Shock and 200 points for the sanitizers. Since you guys are leading, you have an opportunity of selecting between history, entertainment, and or <laughs> sports. Discuss. Agree. Which one? Do you go with sports? Sports? All right, we'll go with sports. You'll go with sports? Yeah. Haku, you're serious? <laughs> <laughs> okay, software de uh, developer and photographer going for sports. What were Pambane and Haliao? Okay, 10 questions. All right. 60 seconds. All right. Time begins. <laughs> is, is this a team? Can we answer together? No, no, no. Still individual. Okay. It's okay. still quick fire. Okay. We suffer okay. alone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Starting with you, time begins now. Which tennis tournament is also known as Roland Garros? French Open. Correct. What is the name of the French Football League? Pass. Pass. The Winter Olympic Games is usually held after how many years? Two. Incorrect. Which team does Lewis, Lewis Hamilton race for in Formula One? Right. Incorrect. 
Which Kenyan international footballer plays professionally for the Belgian club Ser Club Brugge as a defensive midfielder? Olunga. Incorrect. Billard, snooker, and pool fall under which category of games? Pass. Pass. Which English football giants from the lucrative Champions League competition for two seasons are ordered to pay a fine of 30 million pounds and was banned by UEFA? Manchester City. Correct. What does IOC stand for in world sports governing bodies? Pass. Pass. What sport consists of swimmers performing a synchronized routine of elaborate moves in the water accompanied by music? Swimming. In swimming, say something, say something. Water sports. Swimming, in, uh, diving, indoor, indoor swimming. Say idea. Say idea. Incorrect. I want this idea. <laughs> Who was the winner of the 2018 BBC African Football of the Year? Ronaldo. <laughs> Africa. Africa. <laughs> uh, who, who was the winner of the 2018 BBC African Football of the Year? Jaribu tu, ata kama uta kuwa na points. Jaribu tu, ini ya kuficha uchi. Jaribu. 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 Jerry! <laughs> Jerry, try, try, say something, say something. Um, African Football of the Year, 2018. How do you have this idea, Mutu? Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah! It's Mo Salah, but you have no point for that one. <laughs> you guys, if I am correct, got two, po uh, two questions correct, if I am correct. You are now at 400 points. We asked which tennis tournament is also known as Roland Garros. You're correct, it is the French Open. What is the name of the French Football League? League One or La Ligue? The Winter Olympic Games is usually held after four years. Which team does Lewis, Ham uh, Lewis Hamilton race for in Formula One? Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team. Which Kenyan international footballer plays professionally for Belgium club Circle Brugge? That is Johanna Ochen Omolo. Johanna Ochen Omolo, Billard Snooker, Pool Fort, under which category of games? Q Sports. Okay? What does IOC stand for? International Olympic Committee. Apo sir? Yes, sir? Then what sport consists of swimmers? This one many are so close. Synchronized yeah. swimming. <laughs> All right, what sport consists of swimmers performing a synchronized routine of elaborate moves in the water accompanied by music? It is synchronized swimming. And who was the winner of 2019 BBC African Football of the Year? It is Mohamed Salah and not Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, software developer. <laughs> All right, Team Shock. I guess look shocked, man. <laughs> <laughs> is there hope? There is a lot of hope. Now. There is a lot of hope. Yes. All right. You guys, if you only manage to answer four questions correct, you will be ahead of these guys. Because they are only at 400 points. You are at 100 points. Choose between entertainment and history. Which one do you go with? History. History. Okay. All right. History. Okay. Remember, if you don't know the correct answer, what do you say? Pass. Father, I'll begin with you. Okay. We have 60 seconds, 10 questions. I believe you're gonna do this. Time begins now. Who was the first president of Uganda? Museveni. Incorrect. <laughs> Nazi Germany <laughs> planned to invade the UK during World War II. What did Hitler name the planned invasion? Pass. Pass. Where in Africa was the ancient kingdom of Kush? Ethiopia. Incorrect. Where was the food sushi invented? <laughs> Incorrect. What scandal forced U.S. President Richard Nixon to resign in 1974? Uh, pass. Pass. All right. Who is the current U.N. Secretary General? Pass. Pass. Who established the Church of England? Pass. Do coconut trees grow better in cold or warm climates? Warm climate. Correct! What does AD mean in history? After that. 
Incorrect. The wire inside an electric bulb is known as what? Pass! Oh my God! Okay, your time was up. I was trying to be a little bit generous towards you guys and merciful. The wire inside an electric bulb is known as the filament. You are almost there, sir. Almost there, filament. What does AD mean in history? Now, after this, it makes sense. But the correct answer is Anno Domini. Anno Domini, which means the year of the Lord. Therefore, when you're counting in AD, we are simply saying the number of years since the birth of Jesus. Do coconut trees grow better in cold or warm climates? You're correct. The correct answer is warm. Who established the Church of England? It is King Henry VIII. Who is the current UN Secretary General? Antonio Guterres. What scandal forced US President Richard Nixon to resign in 1974? The Watergate scandal. Where was the food sushi invented? Let me say my Egypt. <laughs> it is okay. We will forgive you for today. The correct answer is Japan. Where in Africa was the ancient kingdom of Kush? It is not Ethiopia, it is Sudan. Nazi Germany planned to invade the UK during World War II. What did Hitler name the planned invasion? It was Operation Cillion. And who was the first president of Uganda? Mufata. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought he's always been the president. <laughs> <You saw it? laughs> I don't blame you. The guy's been in power for so long. You are right. You thought he was always been the president, but the correct answer is Edward Mutesa. The first president of Uganda was Edward Mutesa. You guys have gotten an additional 100 points. Am I right? Yeah, you are now at 200 points. That is Team Shock and the Team Sanitizer <laughs> are at 400 points. Let us see if sanitizing is going to carry the day or we are going to be left shocked as we come to our next challenge, which is two truths and one lie. <laughs> of two truths and one lie we are going to read three statements to our contestants two of which are true but one is false can they be able to detect which one is the false one that is the task at hand now this guy this time we're going to do this differently we are going to have you have an opportunity of discussing and agreeing okay which one is the false statement all right, all right. you guys are leading at 400 points we are going to begin with you and I want to believe we are going to have our questions also or our statements rather appearing on the screen so that you can be able to discuss but you only have 15 seconds to do so and single out which of the three statements is false. The first statement is chocolate is as healthy as fruit. True or false? Sneakers got their name because they are rubber soles do not make noise. True or false? It would. It will take a year to get to the moon by car. True or false? Man. Discuss and tell me which of the three statements is very close to being false. Is it the first one? Chocolate is as healthy as fruit. See? See? It is see the second one. Here. Sneakers got their name because their rubber soles do not make noise. That's true. Okay, okay. This is the third one. It will take you a year to get to the moon by car. I don't know. It has. It's about the same. I would say C. Five seconds to go. C. Four. Or A. C. C. Three. C. Eight. C. Two. C. C. All right. Which one? C. C. You are saying the false one is C. Yes. Okay. Let us see. Let me start with the second one. Sneakers got their name because their rubber soles do not make noise. It is true. 
in the late 1800s, people started calling sneakers their name because they had rubber soles, which enabled people to walk or sneak around without making a sound. You are the baby in Mesquia Leo, but it is okay. Okay. The first one chocolate is as healthy as fruit. Is it true or false? You say it is true. See, it will take a year to get to the moon by car. Haku, why do you think this one is false? Well, I I think logically, yes. Fruit, cho- fruit and chocolate both have sugar. Okay. Both have the same I, I mean, they wouldn't make chocolate unhealthy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't make sense. All right. So the only logical explanation would be <coughs> then C cuz All right. It, it would take more than a year to get to the moon by car. No, it, you can't get to the moon by car. You can't get to the moon by car. All right. Yeah. They say that if you try straight up, if you try straight up at an average speed of 60 miles per hour, yeah. you will get to the moon in under a month. Really? <laughs> so you are right when you say it is false because it will take you much less than a year So I am going to give you 100 points and indeed they say chocolate is as healthy as fruit. Woo! That is what research says. <laughs> Chocolates. <laughs> All right. Team sanitizers are doing a great job. They are now at 500 points. Let's find out. In shock. I'm going to shock us with something. You are at 200 points. Can you make it 300? It is all up to you. Remember, three statements. Two are true. One is false. You have a chance of discussing in the green in 15 seconds which one is the false statement and the statements are as follows. One. Madai, a first Kenyan environmentalist professor won the Nobel Peace Prize. Two. HP, Microsoft and Apple have one very interesting thing in common. They were all started in a factory. Three, listening to music enhances physical performance, which is true, which is false. I'm interested in the false one. 15 seconds. Time is ticking. Is it one? Oh, you're done. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Mufada, which one? Uh, HP, Microsoft and Apple have one very interesting thing in common they were all started in a factory that's the one that's false that's the one that's false sir yes. why is it false uh, because uh, apple was made in a garage the guy in, who invented invented apple hey. he made it in a garage hey. Oh, oh, oh. Sir, you are waiting for this one to shine. <laughs> It is correct. All these three companies began in a garage and not a factory. So you guys get 100 additional points. It is true that Wangare Madai won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2004. It is also true that listening to music enhances physical performance. All right. Okay, so we have Team Shock at 300 points and Team Sanitizers at 4 not 4. Hey, I am sorry. Hey, Aku, I'm sorry at 500 points. Are they going to maintain the lead? Let's find out after this short sanitizing commercial break. the quiz show where if you know you know and if you don't we confirm it we have had quite a, uh, a start to this show today we have team shock at 300 points and team sanitizers at 500 points it's a close race so far let us see if you are going to see an upset or not in the next challenge which is the dictionary challenge napenda isana <laughs> napenda this one all right team sanitizers we are going to give you a word and you are going to guess its meaning. This is the guess the meaning challenge, all right? We'll give you a word and we are going to give you four options to pick, one of which is the correct meaning of the word we shall give you. Remember, if you fail to get the correct answer, 
you guys have an opportunity of snatching 100 points if you can get the correct answer and vice versa. Sawa sawa. Okay. All right, let's see if you're going to extend the lead ama mutakuwa hapa. Jeremy. Yes. Kizungu inaweza iwezi? Inaweza. Inaweza? Okay, the word for you is innovate. Innovate. The options are as follows. A. Weaken. B. Invigorate. C. Refresh. D. Strengthen. 15 seconds you can discuss and give us your team answer. Is it A. Weaken? Is it B. Invigorate? Is it C. Refresh? Or is it D. Strengthen? It's either B, C or D. Which one do you go with? Jeremy, do you guys have an answer? Time is ticking. Five, four, three, C. Refresh. Two, C. Yeah. Refresh. Okay, not bad, man. Not bad. Incorrect. Uh. Okay, you guys have an opportunity of starting a hundred points. Do you guys have an answer you can discuss and agree? All right. Which one do we go with? D. Is it A? Is it B or is it D? Yes, sir. D. D. Strengthen. Learn from this one. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is A. Weekend. <laughs> it is weekend. It is weekend. Innovate is weakening something. Okay. <laughs> Team Shock. Muzijani. Meshi na kuonga hizi. Meshi na kuonga hizi. The shock word says. for you. <laughs> the word for you is reticent. Reticent. Is it A. Outgoing. B. Unresolved. C. Shy. D. Reluctant. 15 seconds time is ticking. Discuss and give us your team answer. Is it A. Outgoing. B. Unresolved. C. Shy. D. Reluctant. Mufada, do we have an answer? Seth, do we have an answer? Which one are you going with? C. Shy. See, shy. Haku, <laughs> <laughs> say it, say it for me. Just tell him. It's incorrect. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. You guys have one hundred points. Wow. The correct answer there is shy. Believe it or not, reticent is to be shy. Okay. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Sorry, Jonathan, these guys are coming on. They have two hundred right. points now. All right. You guys are at five hundred points. Let us see. If you play around, what are we here? All right. Okay. For tweeters. For tweeters. The options are A. Deliberate. B. Design. C. Intentional. D. Accidental. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We do Discuss that. and make a good guess. Picky, picky, punky. <laughs> is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Is it D? Which one are you going to pick, Jeremy? Haku, give us something or you lose 100 points. D. We'll go with D. D. You will go with D. Yeah. Why are you going with D? Because A, B, and C look the same. the same. <laughs> so we'll go with the one that is the different. One the one that is different, yeah. Mutaumia. Mutopia, Mufada, what do you think? Are they right or wrong? I can't say. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're thinking. Okay, Seth, give me a guess. For me, even I can't say, but if they are correct. At if they are correct. <laughs> oh, they are correct. <laughs> you, were, you were also thinking along the same line. Yeah. But, but tell us that they are wrong so that we can guess something. Okay, <laughs> I would like to tell you guys you're wrong, uh, but uh, you're not. You're right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Team Shock, can you guys make this one 500 or you're gonna stick at 400? Mutapambana na alienu. Practicable. Practicable. A. Handy. B. Unreasonable. C. Unworkable. D. Useless. Which is which? Is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Or is it D? Seth, Mufada, which one? Uh, we'll go with A, Handy. You will go with A, Handy? Or do you want to go with A? 
For the same reason those guys went with fortuitous. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not the case. The other three are all look the same. <laughs> they all look the same. They all look the same. Haku, what do you think? I uh, would have gone with A as well. You would have gone with A as well. Yes. All right, that makes the three of us. I would also have gone with A. But what is the correct answer? That is where the big question lies. <laughs> It's Hardy! <laughs> 100 points! We have Team Shock <laughs> at 500 points, closing in very fast to the sanitizers who are at 600 points. Let us see how they're going to fare on in our next challenge, which is Spell the Word. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa. This is a Wolan. <laughs>